Suppose we have a hanging spring mass system like I've drawn here with length 0.05 meters. Um, we're going to have an amplitude of oscillation of 0.25 meters and on the spring we'll have a mass of 0.2 kilograms. There are a couple questions we can answer about this. First, what is the equilibrium position? Well, for a hanging mass on a spring, the equation is just the length of the spring plus our amplitude, which intuitively makes sense because we can oscillate A forward and A backwards around that equilibrium position. So for the spring system I've set up, the equilibrium position, length plus amplitude, would just be 0.3 meters. Suppose we wanted to know the solution for displacement as a function of time. In order to find that out, we would need to know the spring constant of the spring. In this particular situation, it turns out that equation um, works like this. The amplitude of the spring, maximum amplitude, is mg over k, where k is the spring constant, g is uh, little g on Earth. And so we can rearrange this to get k and for this system uh, if you do, out, do all the division you'd get 7.84 and that would be in units of newtons per meter. Another question we might want to ask, which I'm going to have to do on another, another page, I do believe, um, or maybe I can put it up here in the corner, is what is the maximum velocity? So V max. And if you remember from simple oscillating systems, uh, this is going to be related to your omega naught, or your initial angular uh, velocity. And in fact, to move that from angular terms back into distance terms, it's just a function of amplitude. So Vmax is a omega, where omega is given by the square root of k over m. So now, if we plug in all of those numbers, k and m, to get omega, and amplitude then we would find that our Vmax is 1.565 meters per second. So you may want to confirm my math there and make sure that those numbers work out, but that is the uh, basics of solving problems with a hanging spring mass.